All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can create this cute literal um, thank you tag, or thank you bag, I should say, for your next Moana party. Um, so this is what it looks like printed out on a bag. I did wanna point out that this is printing out on a white bag because I wanted to actually do a color. Um, printing out on a brown paper bag actually prints much better and you don't see these creases. Um, the problem is, is color doesn't show up on the brown paper bag. So if you want to print on color, really you should use the white paper bags. But keep in mind that the paper bags do tend to crease, which you can see right here and here and here and here um, going through the printer. So I did want to give you this option. Um, that being said, going forward, I will more than likely be printing on the brown paper bags myself for my own crafty projects, um, just because again, the white paper bags do tend to print. But if you're using this for a six, seven, eight year old's birthday party, um, really it might not matter to you. All right. So with Mo Moana being as popular as it is, I thought it'd be fun to do um, a Moana themed bag. Uh, I do want to point out that I do have a YouTube channel called Printables with Microsoft Word. I have a number of videos out there. I do monitor the chat lines and I take recommendations all the time for new videos that you'd like me to create. Um, I do want to point out that I have a video calling searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, Blank Document. And um, let's go ahead and get our image first, center that, and then we'll do the text around that. So we want to type in Moana, and actually let's go to, I like to use Google, so let's go ahead and go to Google. Uh, if you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. Um, and I'm going to type in Moana, and I'm going to type in dot .png, and the reason why you want to do PNG is um, because you don't want that white background around the image. And then once you click on that, you're gonna click on images. Um, and what I'm talking about here is, see, this is this is white back here. Um, that means that it's going to have a white background rather than, let's see if I can find a good PNG here, right here. If you see the gray and white, what you're gonna get when you put this on the document is you're only gonna get this picture of Moana, which is, is kind of what you want usually. So that's why I always do a search for the .png because you don't want that white background or I typically don't want that white background. And here's the sun that I used. And even though this isn't a PNG, um, it still works fine for what I was, I was working for. So we're gonna go and do a save picture as, and we're gonna save this in our Moana folder. And we're gonna go here and we're gonna do a file insert picture and we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to go to our Moana folder and we're going to insert. Okay. Now if you try to move this image around, you can't. What you need to do is click up on this box under layout options and click in front of text. Okay. The other option is you could right click and you can do wrap text and say in front of text. But once you do that, now you can very easily move this image around. And what you want to do is you want to move it around until you see that green arrow. Well, and actually first we want to make this much smaller here. Okay. We don't want this necessarily centered exactly in the middle. We want this to be up a little bit higher because um, the way the paper bag prints out, you're going to want it um, not all the way down to the sort of bottom part here. You want this more in the middle. So you're going to kind of center that more in, in the middle um, or a little above the middle of the page. Okay. So we're going to put that there. And you see that green line that um, allows us to know that it is actually in the center of the page, which is what we want. Okay. Um, okay. So the next thing uh, we want to do, and, and one other thing is I've had a couple questions on how to get that green line. If you don't see that green line, you can click up here and sure format selected, click up here to align and you can do use alignment guides. And if you do the use alignment guides, that's what's going to allow you to see that sort of green line there. Okay. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to um, get rid of this analog XL image, I guess, if you will. Okay, so what we first want to do is we want to right click and we want to copy this image because we want to get the same color yellow and basically do a triangle over this to, to get rid of that. Then we want to go down and we want to open up Paint. Paint comes with Microsoft Office, you should have it. And then we could right click or we can just do a paste. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to click on here and then click anywhere in this sun. And now we see our color up here. Once we see our color up here, you can click on edit colors. 
when you edit colors, you're going to want to look at this red, green, blue over here. And this is 254, 161, 43. And that's how you can get these, this exact sort of orange color so it matches. Okay. And actually, let me um, do this color picker again and move it down here because this is where I'm going to go. 243, 144. Okay. And the only reason why I changed that is because I noticed on here there's lots of different colors and what I want to do is get rid of this in Analog XL up here. So that's why I click to get this color orange. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to insert a shape and we are going to insert a rectangle and we're going to go right down here and we're going to move this over, put this right. And you can, um, once the image is selected, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to very easily move it around. Okay, and then from here, we can also make that slightly bigger. Now what we wanna do is click on Format. We wanna do a shape fill of more fill colors, and we wanna go over here, and we wanna do the red of 254, and this is the color we just wrote down the numbers to, um, 149 and four, and there's our orange. And then if we do a shape outline, we should see that orange right there. And that's how we can very easily cover up um, something that uh, you don't necessarily wanna see in that picture. And then from here, it's just a bunch of text boxes. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and click on insert, click text box, and we wanna draw a text box. And we wanna do it right above here. And we wanna write, thanks for coming to on my, and we want to go ahead and highlight this, go to home, we want to center this, we want to click into line spacing options, and we want to have this zero and single spaced. And then finally we want to select our font, which is Flat Earth Scribe. Again, if you don't know how to download and install new fonts, watch that video and do a search for Flat Earth Script or Scribe and you can go ahead and grab that. And once again, we want to center this, and we want to click on Format of this text box, and we want to do a Shape Fill of No Fill for that text box, and a Shape Outline of No Outline for this text box. Again, if you saw that used to have an outline and that used to have a fill, okay? Finally, we want to highlight this text, go back to our home, and we want to change this to that orange color or we could change it to a red color. Really, whatever you, you, you want for your own sort of colors or however you want to do that. Let's change that a little bit darker. And then finally, um, I added an outline to this. I think it just kind of made it a little bit pop a little bit more. Um, so again, how I did that was you click up here for the text effects and you click on outline. From here, you can click on this whole text box. And again, we know this text box is selected because we see these little squares. We want to left click and do a copy. And then we want to go and we want to do left click and do a paste. And then we can move this down here. Seventh birthday adventure. And we should probably put my, hmm. Let's make this a little bit bigger. I realized we didn't have the my. Okay. All right, now the uh, last part is putting these um, sort of border around it. And so what we wanna do here is we wanna insert a text box and we wanna draw Oopsies, insert text box, and we want to draw a text box. And we want to try this one more time. <laughs> and we want to draw a text box. There we go. And what we want to do is a couple things. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to text directions and we want to do rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to do a shape fill of no fill and a shape outline of no outline. And again, that's going to get rid of that outline of the text box. Finally, we want to insert a symbol, and we want to go to More Symbols, 
and we want to do a search to find our flat earth scribe and we want to click on this symbol here and then from here you can just click insert 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 and we're just going to insert a bunch of these okay and then finally this is a font the symbols are just a font and um, they're most fonts have unique symbols to them, which is, again, what we're using here. So because it's a font, all we have to do is go up to here and do a 28 point font, right? And then we can delete that one. And then finally, um, what I did here was I, well, maybe we wanna add one more. V. All right, and then what we want to do from here is we want to make this one this blue color and this one this uh, aqua color. Okay, and we want to highlight both of these and we want to do an outline color of that orange. And then from here, um, we can do a right click and do a copy. And then we can just do a paste. Oops. We can do a copy. And then here we can do paste. And then here we can do a paste. And again, all I'm doing is right clicking. And from here we can do a paste, paste and paste and that's it and then once you have this done you can right click do a copy and once again do a paste and then move this on over here and that's uh that's about it um from here then you just need to go in the printer and when you um go in the printer you want to put your paper bag um let me go to my desktop let me go to my you want to you wanna put the paper bag in your printer like this and also if you notice um, you want to pull these sort of sleeves and every printer should have one depending on different paper sizes but you want to pull those in the middle so that um, they are adjacent to the sides of your paper bag and you want to put this where sort of this bottom part of the bag is pointed up this is the brown paper bag but it's the same for the white paper bag obviously um, but that's how you want to go ahead and feed the paper bags into the printer. And uh, again, they should come out in this nice um, paper bag with color for your next um, birthday party or party. Anyhow, I hope you found this useful. Again, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for uh, new videos, please let me know. Um, be so appreciative. And again, if you would like any and all of my videos that you found useful, that would be great. And or subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.